Hello, my name is John Cornelius O'Kelly on the fifth. Uh, I do singing in the band The Main. And I am Patrick John Kirch the first, and I do I do the drums. He does drumming in the main. Without further ado, these are the top five albums we could not live without. <laughs> We're only two fifths of the main here, so we we grab the other guys' uh, thoughts, their thoughts, yeah. and their records. Um, Kennedy, our guitar player, said that he could not live without Radiohead's "Kid A." Yeah, um, and, yeah, and I I, th I think I think I've heard him talk about that he uh, got that record from his older brother. Um, I think, and I think that's that's kind of why he has an emotional attachment. And he um, really likes he to, likes to the, the way Tom York dances <laughs> too. <laughs> Huge fan of the dance moves. Jared, our other guitar player, just said uh, "Love Is Hell" by Ryan Adams, uh -huh. and we are all like super, super huge fans of Ryan Adams. Um, honestly, I think he's one record, of the greatest yeah. songwriters of like the past twenty some odd years, if not like longer. All of his records are so good. Yeah, so and it's really hard to pick just one. Yeah, and like I think that record kind of like the back sh the the backstory behind it and it, it was kind of he, he recorded it and the record label t t t t told him that he couldn't release it so they ended up releasing it as like two um, EPs and I think that's that's kind of a cool thing that he like fought to, to get the record out re re regardless struggle um, is real yeah Garrett uh, our bass player said some girls by uh, the Rolling Stones because they're the best rock and roll band of all time. Yeah, that's uh, and that record is like it progressively gets better and better song by song. Um, it's one of those records you can't really just like put on one track. You kind of have to listen to the whole thing in its entirety. Um, yeah, I mean, for the amount of okay. heroin that they've done <laughs> to still be alive is pretty gnarly. So, I mean, that's cool. <laughs> I chose the self-titled record from a. Uh, from a th uh, th th third eye blind, and I uh, I got that record from a friend in third grade as a birthday gift, I think. And then I went to the show and that uh, that was the first concert I went to, and the record s still holds up now. So that's, and we got that's to, we got to play Soundwave with them. Pretty rare, yeah. In Australia. For me, my record is Death Cab for Cuties Transatlanticism. Um, I don't know, like, I think the coolest part about music is the nostalgia attached, um, the personal nostalgia attached to, to what you listen to and, and kind of the way it can take you back to a time or a specific place or a specific feeling. Um, it reminds me a lot of my youth and just, um, I don't know, man, when like times were simpler. and like <laughs> They're definitely one of the most like interesting bands that have and the development that they've kind time. of experienced along the way like from their early stuff to like the most recent stuff is really cool to kind of to to acknowledge and, and try to try to follow suit and try to push ourselves to, to become better so that's that's me that's us that has been our that's top us, five baby. records that's it yeah.